Senator Patrick Leahy, along with the president of Vermont Technical College, shared a big announcement on the future of VTC. Local 22's Devin Bates has details on what's being called Vermont's first advanced manufacturing education facility. Vermont Technical College will be getting $8 million from the U.S. Army's Industrial Base Analysis and Sustainment Office to build this new facility, which is expected to offer cutting-edge training for engineering and manufacturing students. This really moves us up to a much higher level and that we're able to get into the area of additive manufacturing, 3D printing with metals and ceramics and materials that folks may not be thinking is happening. So, and this really is a watershed moment in manufacturing. The new advanced manufacturing facility will be located at VTC's Randolph campus, and the funding comes at a time when Vermont and the nation need a boost in the manufacturing workforce. President Patricia Moulton said the new equipment will help VTC compete with other colleges that have bolstered their manufacturing and engineering programs, and that has benefits throughout the state. It really enables us as a small college that provides access to Vermonters and others who want more of a small college experience to have access to that state-of-the-art equipment and education. So for us to be able to have that equipment here that our students can learn on, as well as to be able to bring in incumbent workers from other industries, means that it really puts us in a far better place to be more beneficial to Vermont and to Vermont manufacturing in particular. Senator Patrick Leahy said in a statement that all these upgrades will, quote, ensure that more Vermonters have the training and skills to match the latest generation of manufacturing jobs. President Moulton said it won't be long before we know more about the timeline and specifics of the new facility. We are going to be ordering equipment and getting everything set up um, so that we fully expect to be well in line and, and running by this time next year. But hopefully we can get some construction potentially done even this Christmas, but probably next summer is our bigger period. Devin Bates, Local 22 News.